Welcome to Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk to you about the various reasons why meditation is such a great and powerful tool in regards to your own spiritual journey and enhancement of your soul's awareness. I hope you enjoy the session. Remember when I told you that this is a skill? Yes, I came in with gifts, so I'm really good at like this. Not so good at math. Well, good at geometry, but not good at algebra. I'm really good at this. And so this started to come naturally to me at a very young age, but I did learn some skills with spirit, um, specifically Samuel, the teacher that I spoke of before. It, he was in, in spirit world. But the reason why meditation is so important in the practice and a foundational piece to any kind of spiritual practice in this manner is because meditation is mental exercise it helps build that muscle of the mind helping to train it for attention and awareness and this is imperative in this work and so today I'm really going to open up a bit more about how you can do that for your own benefit and um, greater understanding and, and, and greater kind of, again, foundational work for this journey. Meditation is a fantastic tool. You use meditation to focus your mind. It's really about mindfulness. And the real difference of all the various forms of meditation is really what are you putting your mind to? What is your focus? What is your intention? And I just want to remind you of some of those today and in when you might want to use each one for each of the purposes in your life. One of my favorite forms of meditation is to just sit in stillness. In the beginning of my spiritual practice, I used to do this often. And what it what meant for me was to just sit in the morning and or anytime really, close my eyes and just relax and bring my awareness focusing on the breath. This is a tried and true technique of many practices. And you can learn more about it online if you really wanna look into it, but I'm just gonna briefly mention here why I like it so much. What focusing on the breath does is it teaches me to harness my mind instead of kind of succumbing to all the scattered thoughts that run through my brain. And this is not an easy task to quiet the mind. But what we do when we just focus on the breath, it gives the mind something to think about. Same with when people use a mantra. Mantra is just a sacred word. So maybe they use a specific word and that gives the mind something to focus on and concentrate on. Listen, you could do this for a long time or you could just do this for a few minutes. What this trains the mind to do is to shut up, <laughs> to be just really quiet so that you don't have all these different thoughts going through your head. Now, why is this important in my work? Because at some point we're gonna have to really sort out where all those thoughts are coming from and what are the voices happening in our head. So this just sitting in stillness is a great way of kind of building this, um, you know, psychic muscle, if you will, just the one on just focused awareness in stillness meditation. This one I do love. Again, I used to use it quite often. I still do at times when I'm feeling like, whoa, going into overwhelm, feeling a little scattered, got to just pull in. And so just it's just focusing on the breath. And what happens when you practice this as a meditation in the quiet you know, space of your own car or room or wherever, or park bench or whatnot, and you're just sitting in the stillness, in like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever you can do, focusing on the breath or focusing on a word. What it, how that translates to your wakeful state is when you're walking around, you are able to, you know, after the meditation, kind of that, that, that skill set is then embedded in your being so that when you're going about your day, you all of a sudden either can return to the breath in a moment or you find that you're not so easily as overwhelmed because you're retraining the mind to kind of be more quiet and be more still. This is why I love just, just stillness, mindful meditation of just sitting and focusing on the breath or a mantra. And I hope it's something that you want to put into application this week. Again, just the in-breath and the out-breath and not doing it unconsciously, but really thinking, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And eyes closed, you can have focused attention on that. And just give, you know, 
give it a few minutes. You know, don't try to sit down for a whole 20 minutes or an hour or even five minutes sometimes. When you're first starting out, just sit for a few minutes and then maybe you sit for a few minutes throughout the day at lunch break or dinner break or before bed and, you know, uh, upon waking or whatnot. I just encourage you to put this kind of technique into practice, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. And again, the skills that you build in your practice of meditation will enhance your day-to-day life. Enjoy. The next form of meditation that I love to use in my work has to do with really relaxation techniques. We, I spoke a little bit to this when I discussed about Vipassana technique, but this really is about for me, it's about laying flat on a surface, usually a bed because it's so comfortable. And I just close my eyes and enter into the physical awareness of my body. Where is it tense? Where do I need to release? Take a breath, close my eye, you know, keep my eyes closed. Take a breath, kind of breathe in and, to, and, and relax that muscle or relax that space. The reason why this is so important is I am an empath. I receive my psychic and intuitive and, um, you know, spirit awareness on all different fronts. And I'll get into that soon about the different ways we get and receive information. But but one of the ways for me is my empathic skills. And, and empath, we, we register it in our body. We feel energy. We, <laughs> I was like, my body's like a radar dish and can pick up, you know, wherever energy of a room, a person. It's often how I read a person's um, emotional content or their energy field. I just tune in with my body. My whole body is used as to what I'm feeling in my body. I'm, I'm setting the intention to feel what they're feeling in their body and I'm feeling it in my body. And then I quickly clear it afterwards. Again, we'll get into that more later. But because of that, and after I do my sessions, reads, if you will, where I'm giving people insightful information, or if I'm going about my day-to-day life and I walk into a space that's overcrowded and you know I'm being bombarded with picking up other people's energy, I remember that I have to clear and pull back and disconnect from them. I'm going to get into more of that later. Um, specifically this lesson right now is about why do I go into relaxation meditation? And it's sometimes because the tension that I carry in my body is not my own. Perhaps I'm still concerned about, you know, a family member or a friend that's going through something and I'm actually energetically picking up what they're going through. And so sometimes this one is really always beneficial when you feel the need, like, oh, I feel tense there. Maybe I just take a few minutes and lie down and try to relax and release that you know, bent, pent up tension in that area of my body, but it's always helpful right when you're ready to go to sleep and drift off. Much like the Vipassana where you're kind of checking in on the subtle sensations interiorly, you know, sometimes people with that do Vipassana feel the sensations like their kidneys, their liver, their heart, you know, it's internal as much as external subtle sensations on the external side of the body. This is similar in that I'm, but I'm not going sweeping and going through the body up and down. I am specifically going, where do I feel tight in my body? Where do I need to relax? And I'm kind of unwind. And so I often use this, um, relaxation meditation to just reconnect with my body and to see where am I still holding something or where am I tense and I encourage you to try this you know once or twice or whatnot this week Um, especially when you're recognizing that you're you know feeling tense or overburdened it's a a real beneficial gift to your body to um, kind of give it the attention it deserves goodness gracious why is this helpful for psychic work or anyone that wants to enhance their own intuitive skills or their soul's awareness um it's because it helps you pay attention to the receptor organ that is your entire body physical so well done you keep at it The last bit that I want to explain is why um, meditation is so important is because it helps you get to an altered state of awareness. You are typically or often with eyes closed or at least focusing your mind so clearly with the development of mindfulness that you are not thinking or processing what's happening in the room or the space that you're at. You're, You're not contemplating the temperature of the day or the, you know, what's in front of you at your desk or looking at kids or food 
lists or friends or anything. You're really taking the time daily to work this muscle that is your mind. And the benefit of that is that you will use your mind to reach the higher realms and guide yourself. It it also, mindfulness in this way with this meditation form of focusing your awareness also helps you to focus in on your body and the subtle sensations in your body. It will also help you discern um, the voices that are in your head. Like I said, um, this will be helpful as you go about with your own psychic and spiritual development. It will also help you enhance your visionary experience when we get into clairvoyance and the ability to see spirit or see angels or see God, um, if it's for your highest good. So the reason why meditation and intention within meditation is, again, so important is because it is the greatest tool that we have to guide us and help us navigate the realms and navigate our experience. And it needs to be strong. And so this is your homework this week. This is a segment that is short but sweet, but it is powerful and it is imperative and it's very important. Can I say that again? It's very important. So your homework this week is to, if you choose, is to sit in meditation each day, maybe a few times each day, maybe just a few moments or maybe longer. I remember when I was first starting or even now, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go in for like five minutes or 10 minutes and like a whole hour passes, right? And I've had these really, you know, beautiful moments of stillness and, and quiet and in breath, out breath and you know, to, or if my intention was to tune into the subtle sensations of my body and relaxing those areas, really going deep and going into the organs there, or the tensions there. And it just, it's um, fantastic how, you know, time can go when we're really taking the time to train this. I'm sure it's, I, I do a little bit of weightlifting in our gym, but I'm sure it's the same for bodybuilders, you know, where runners get that runner's high, where they're just like, oh my God, I didn't realize I was out for this five mile run. I only meant to go out for a few or whatnot. Um, same with psychic development and the exercise of the mind in this way. So I encourage you to do this this week. This is again, you're laying the foundation because the goal really is to maintain this, to always do this, even throughout the practice, um, as you go on your way with your own soul's awareness, you really, um, learn that as you blossom and grow in the experience that you need this, you need to maintain that connection and that control, if you will, of your mind and the ability to harness it so that it's not flying off and thinking of like to do lists or whatnot. This will enhance your day to day life. It will help you maintain greater focus in your work or your creative projects or your to do lists really, and the ability to get through them with, you know, greater calculation and steadfastness. So this is going to be great for you. I really do hope you practice this for the week. And um, next week I'll have more for you. Keep notes if you want to keep a little journal. You know, that's always a really cool thing. I'm a big fan of journals, writer by heart. Um, just just jotting down how it went, you know, when is your favorite time to do it, when works for you, you know, work with your own rhythm. Um, and what the experience was like. Don't forget, turn off the phones. Uh, you know, I love to light a candle, you know, to just create the sacred space of just tuning into the breath. All right. So um, the goal is not to really go anywhere or talk to anybody or do anything yet. The goal is to just sit in stillness or tune into your body where it needs to be relaxing. And so it really is just time for you to harness the mind and pay attention to the subtle sensations on your body. So have a fantastic week. Thank you for listening. Lots of luck. I know you'll just jam on this. You'll do fab. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Again, my name is Constance Mesmer, and you've been listening to Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer. If you enjoyed it, uh, put it into practice. Trust me, it will just you're just going to love this. And if you've already been familiar with these type of exercises this week, try to go deeper. You know, I'm always trying to self-improvement is <laughs> is the kind of the thing of life, right? So um, share it with friends. Uh, keep listening. Keep coming back. I, I love having you in my workspace with me and my playground of soul awareness. Legally speaking, this podcast is presented solely for educational and entertainment purposes. It is not intended as a substitute for medical diagnosis 
treatment or the advice of a physician, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat a health problem or condition. Always check with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today. If you've enjoyed this episode of Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer, we'd like to encourage you to continue your spiritual journey with this next episode.